everyone. Um, just having a look at my maths now. Um, so most of you will have seen my maths in the classroom, either your teacher using it, and some of you will have had a go at logging in and having a go through some tasks yourselves. Now, new for this year coming, we are all going to be making sure that everyone's logging on. So the first thing you do is you're going to use the Oakdale login. It's an old Oakdale, so you type in the school username, which is Oakdale, and the password will be Octagon. OK, we log in. And that'll take us to the next step. Now, here you will be sent your own login details and your own password. So you'll get a username. Your username will be a three digit one. And your password will be a three letter one. And you log in. First thing it shows you there is my homework. So it tells you when it's due, it tells you what it is. Now there's the lesson here. Have a go, make sure to make notes and follow the lesson. So your teacher's asked you to look at the lesson. You click on the lesson. You start from the beginning. Your objective is to add two digit numbers by breaking them into tens and ones. So we click on that straight away and we can go through the lessons. So down here we click next. Split each number into tens and ones. So we've got 40 and 5, 50 and 3. And then we add the tens. So 40 plus 50 is 90. 5 plus 3 is 8. So we end up with 98. Pretty basic, pretty simple. OK, so there shouldn't be anything that's going to be causing us too much of an issue there. Right. Um, if then we wanted to go back, OK, and go straight back to the online homework and we click on that. The online homework is pretty self-explanatory. They're like worksheets. So you're going to be doing 15 plus 13. So you go 28, 23 plus 14, 37. 44 plus 11, 55. 55 plus 34 is 89. And 18 plus 38 is going to be 56. OK, now, if you're not sure, you can use this to help you. So the 10 and the 5, the 10 and the 3. So that's the first question there that I'm looking at now. So I'm looking at this one, OK? So I bring those together, so that's the 10. So I can bring this together, and I go 10 and 10, so that would be 20. And the 5 and the 3, that could be 8. So then I go 28. I'm happy with that now. I reset it, and I do another one. I can mark it, and it tells me I've got all those correct. OK? Question 2 is just here. And then again, same thing. There's no support on that boundary now, but you can write it out yourself. OK, it's telling me it's a non-calculator as well. And down the bottom, just under here, just under my face, there you go, it tells you a total score so far. All right, and you can mark that. If you've got nothing right, homework finished, save marks. See your summary, so you can see how you got on. You did really well there, didn't do anything on the second one. Obviously, we didn't attempt it, but we'd finish and close or we'd try again. Your teachers will be using this and setting your homework each week. Once your homework is complete, it's gone from your list. OK, so all your homework once complete is done. So make sure it's your maximum effort first time. OK, right. Any other questions, make sure you do email us and check in with us on Google Classroom. All the best, guys. Bye bye.